Okay then, Dave. So, here's your before and after. Okay, okay. chalking. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you look at your the top of your head now yeah. is almost flat to the sky, if not That's flat to the sky. Moving. Your eye lines. Oh, sorry. Your eye line now just straight down. Yeah. Very, very sort of hunched over that ball. Very, very tough from that position to swing a golf club. Yeah, okay? Exactly. You can, yeah. but you're going to put a lot of stress on your lower back, for starters. Okay? You're going to require a lot of leg action to swing that golf club as you go back. And your back is going to be a little bit shorter than what we ideally really want. Okay? So getting your chin up. To do that drill, we say we put a golf club now basically across your chest, yeah. underneath the chin, and keep there. And basically dangle between your legs and give yourself a tail by keeping your chin up. You're not trying to push your chin down to push the club down. If your hand stays here and the chin is on that chest there, it can just go forward. Get to a comfortable spot, club kind of back in front, and then just let your head just, so just gently just sort of fall down. Don't want to be yeah. pushing it down in, straining the back of your neck. Because if you put yourself under that strain when you play golf, the older we get, the stiffer we're going to get, aren't we? And if your back's trying to rotate in a very awkward kind of hunched position, yeah. you can't move. That back there for me is very, very straight. Okay, so as you've got the golf club back now, you can see a little bit less leg movement going back. Now the club's going back kind of halfway. The legs aren't moving quite so much because they don't need to move quite no. so much. They're just adapting to that. So top of the back from there. It's a little bit short because that's kind of your comfort zone. That wouldn't probably yeah. change straight away. Right. But you can see the leg movement now, amount of leg movement there. Look at the gap between your legs there compared to yeah, that yeah. one there. You need less leg movement because you're not having to try to force a swing now with your yeah. hips and your legs. It means your lower half now is more stable, yeah? yeah? You're still moving your legs, no doubt, but you're not going to go, yeah. and collapse them. So your back swing now is in a much more stable position as you come back to the golf ball. Lovely strike. Ball then down the range that way, and you can see the ball flight now pretty much tracking. Where's it coming down? There you go. Just coming down with a nice little draw. <laughs> on line with the flag there, okay? You can see the ball fight just coming the end of the trees there. Yeah. 150 with a nice little draw. Yeah. But again, that is your one thought. Yeah. So, and I'll be honest with you, okay? Going forward, looking at there's some other couple of things to tweak to maybe try and push a bit more out of your game. Yeah. But that is yeah. enough for me to think, okay, you can go away, you can work on that. You yeah, mirror, yeah. just practice that. You're not going to walk away, your brain frazzled, going, oh my God, oh. 25 things to think about. Yes, you went through a few things in the first video to sort of show your errors in terms of setup, but, but no one would see that would they no. and, and again if people keep telling you keep your head down they're not yeah. going to keep your head up for that because they want to keep your head down yeah. but you can see when you set up the golf ball doing this don't change the club yeah and just, just tilt forward yeah and just, and, just there, so, and just let your head just fall off the shoulders but you don't want to be pushing and straining yeah, the neck okay yeah. And that's, that's a good thing. I mean, generally speaking, when you make a mega change, it will feel quite strange. But yeah. if we're just getting you in a nice sort of relaxed position and your back is straighter, you're kind of going from here. Yeah, you were like this. So we're taking your chin now, keeping your chin and head here, just doing this. Pushing the hips back in a nice shoulder. So this now for the lower back is a lot flatter. Yeah. It can now rotate, yeah. yeah. But, that, but that, again, that, that change has now changed your goal swing yeah. with no swing thought. No. The thing is when you play on the golf course and you get advice from mates often, they give you one swing thought, doesn't work. Then you give another swing thought, doesn't work. Then the third swing thought, doesn't work. Then the fourth one, you're like, bloody hell, I can't. <laughs> exactly, yeah. It's, it's going in one and your brain's like, what's going on? You, oh, just, oh, just, I don't care, just go and whack it. Oh, it goes really good. Oh, great, thanks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So minimise your thought. But at the moment, I just think about your golf set up. Use the mirrors at home. Yeah. Get yourself in a good position to get that posture. When you're down the range, okay, keep checking that position. Make sure you're in a good start position. Your swing's good. But you were swinging from a back. It's like trying to run 100 metres in welly boots. That's what you're trying to play golf with. It's yeah. doable, but you're going to restrict how fast you can run. Okay? Yeah. Unless you're super skilled or super fast in running, you're not going to win the race, are you? So, okay, Dave.